From Crema Media in Johannesburg, I'm Kuto Mapatwe. Joining me today is SA Institute of Materials Handling's Bruce Watts, here to discuss the SA Institute of Materials Handling. Welcome, Bruce. Thank you. Do you have any training or workshops for your members to ensure that the industry stays relevant? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, I need to go back in history a little bit. Um, when the Institute started many years ago, we got together and we shared um, information about new technologies and systems and such like. But with the advent of the internet, a lot of that has fallen away. A lot of that information you can, um, you know, you can find out online yourself. So what we've done, um, we have approached um, members um, within the institution and companies outside of the institution to say, we would like to come and do a more hands-on uh, teaching yes. um, of their personnel. Um, we can share our experiences and we can let them know firsthand about some of the problems that they may experience with their equipment. The advantage there is that the more information that the user has, be it he's an operator or if he maintains it, the more information he has, the more efficient he can make that system. Again, from an operating point of view, if that person understands how it truly operates and the upstream and downstream equipment as well, or if it's somebody from the maintenance side of things, if he or she understands more about that equipment and how it operates and how it doesn't operate and how it breaks down, mm -hmm. then once again, that can be more efficient. And the more efficient that you are, obviously the more profitable that company will be. So that is what is something that you cannot get from the internet. That is really you know, something that's hands-on and is a knowledge that somebody who's previously operated that equipment can share with those type of people. So yeah, that's within the members of the institution. That is sort of something that we find is, is being asked of us you know, to, uh, to share with them. With that said, what impact do you think the institute will have on the industry through these initiatives and programs that are targeted at university students? Obviously then, as an institute, we are trying to get new blood into the materials handling industry. Not just the materials handling industry, maybe the engineering industry in general. So what we have embarked upon is uh, something whereby we, we, we go into universities or technicons or even schools. There we try and tell the student the type of discipline that they can go into, be it electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, process or such like. Once we've made them aware of that, we can say, look, if you go and down the mechanical engineering route or the electrical engineering route, there's also materials handling that you will find very fulfilling, it's very challenging, and then we explain to the student Materials handling is not just about mining and such like. It is a spectrum of different types of industries within materials handling. You get the unit materials handling, which is the airports, food industry, recycling or, or whatever it may be. And then you got the bulk side of things, which is traditionally the mining side of things. So we say to the, the, the students, materials handling is, you know, is a big field. It can offer you a lot. Yes. Hopefully, then we can assist them in, in um, getting a career in that industry and then getting new blood into the Institute of Materials Handling so that they will then take over what we have been doing later in yes 
affect their lives. So, you know, to increase the uh, visibility um, of the materials handling industry is something that is important at the moment because, you know, I, I think every, a lot of people think it's just one particular facet, materials handling, and that's mining or such like, and it offers so much more to the students, and that's what we're trying to do. Also joining me today is Adi Fratella, uh, who is the chairman of the SA Institute of Materials Handling. Welcome, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Okay, just to ask, what is the purpose of the Institute? Well, I'd just like to go back in history a while, and uh, sure. the Institute was uh, established in 1966. Okay. That's when it had the first meeting, and that's quite a long time ago. Yes. And I'd just like to read to you, I found some extracts out of some of the scrapbooks that we have. Okay. And this is uh, the intended purpose of the Institute as it was in 1966. So, the stated purpose of the Institute was the dissemination of technical information on mechanized handling in all its forms, the training and encouragement of young members, and the giving of lectures and film shows, mm -hmm. don't, don't have many of those these days, <laughs> on mechanized handling to other engineering or technical societies. Mm -hmm. I think that, what, 52 years later? Yes. We still have the same intentions. And that, that, is, that is what we're trying to do. And... Uh, we certainly would hope that we're able to carry on doing that for another 50 years. That's good. And how do you plan to stay relevant in the industry in terms of the services that you offer? That's a little bit more difficult. The first plan is that we can build on our membership so that we have uh, an audience for what we want to do. Okay. We've tried uh, many different type of events and we've carried on with that, having a, what started off as a monthly talk, mm -hmm. which we found was very poorly attended. And we've now changed to a quarterly uh, full afternoon lectures, mm -hmm. uh, technical lectures in aspects of materials handling, which have tended to be successful. And we're certainly hoping that by attendance at these lectures, existing members and their guests uh, will stimulate additional membership. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you? We, we have very close associations with uh, uh, sister organizations, okay. whereby we run conferences as well. We have a biannual conference called BeltCon, which is now in its 20th uh, edition. So we've been going for 40 years with that. And it's a world-renowned conference. Mm -hmm. So yes, we, we will carry on doing that on behalf of our members, yeah. That was Bruce Watts and Addy Fratella of the SA Institute of Materials Handling discussing the Institute.